really started singing at the age of seven. I always knew that singing was going to be in my life. Uh, I have a varied background. I started singing in church as a soloist and also in choirs in school. I uh, sang both jazz music and then musical theater and then moved my way into operetta. And then when I, uh, I'm originally from Copenhagen, Denmark, so I started uh, as a young child singing in the churches there. And then when we moved to the States, I sang uh, for many years there. And then when I graduated uh, high school in the U.S., I moved back to Denmark and I started studying privately at the Royal, Royal Danish Conservatory of Music. I felt that as a believer that God had sort of put a little uh, seed in me and that it's been growing all these years and I always was hoping to uh, do something wonderful in the world, to reach out to others and to uh, present positive messages, positive beautiful music to hopefully inspire people, uh, to make them happy, to keep them focused on the wonderful beautiful aspects of life that can, uh, can sort of distract us from the day-to-day -day things that uh, can cause stress and uh, sometimes we have hardships in our life and music has always been there for me to bring me to the tough spots. It's always kept me going. It has led to uh, many years in the United States and then eventually I came to Canada in 2005 and I've continued to pursue my singing here. And I've been uh, very fortunate to uh, travel back to Europe and perform in Sweden and Germany and Denmark. And I've also performed in France and um, various different places. I try to also collaborate with other people on modern music. I am also considered a crossover singer as I do sing some other genres. The more popular pop opera music is a lot of fun to present. Uh, a lot of people might know Sarah Brightman, Andrea Bocelli, Vivo, and Josh Groban. I love all that music and it's nice to be able to use your schooling and uh, classical training to uh, put your own little twist on these wonderful songs that are so popular now. A lot of different people who have inspired me throughout the years, but uh, someone that sort of stands out in my mind is uh, Giuseppe Verdi and also Mozart. Uh, you know, they're quite a, a, a bit apart with uh, their styles and years, but um, specifically Mozart was interesting because he was such a um, trailblazer in his time. He was a bit of a, I don't know if you want to call it a popular musician uh, and composer. A lot of the works that he uh, was composing were being heard for the first time and uh, some people didn't quite understand his uh, concept but I think that his music was exciting and new and on the edge and sort of challenged others around him to push to new heights and I think he must have had a sense of humor with the way that he has uh, written his music for singers definitely for sopranos to be singing so many high notes <laughs> but he would uh, have been a, an amazing person to speak to and just kind of pick his brain and find out what inspired him and, and how his process was. And um, yeah, We're here today because of, of all of the wonderful people who have written music for us to sing and a lot of the music today is inspired by music of yesterday. This has been my five minutes. <laughs>